Hey everybody, welcome to Hey We're Talking. I dropped the G today for some reason, Derek. Is that okay? Well, Do you that it sounds like a like it could be like a double entendre or like or like a slang, slang rap term yeah, or like something. I dropped like, the G like like I don't know. I said hey we're talking instead of talking. Do you know, have you do you know um this is a kind of a Michigan thing. I'm originally from Michigan, so a lot of people in Michigan they say so I say words like talking, cheating, sleeping. I put the ing on there. Mm, you put the but ying in? I put the ying and the yang. Uh there in Michigan there are people that say it's almost like the word seen. So they say, I was talking, talking. Do you hear the difference? Yeah, I hear the difference. Yeah. There's a there's a thing and, and it's very Michigan. I don't know if anybody else does it. Do you know people in your life who do that who say, I was sleeping the other day and I'm no, like sleeping? Not not too many that I would probably I would probably want to punch them in the face. <laughs> kind of a I'm kind of a drop the G Kind of a person on the ing word. Yeah, you're a talking, walking. But instead of like an in, it's more like an un. You know, like the the you know when the phonetic chart when they have the the backwards e that makes yeah the, the schwa sound. You know, I'm talking, I'm eating, I'm fixing to fixing to eat. I'm fixing to do. Hey, we're talking. There you go. With without <laughs> Bob, by the way. Yeah. Just for yeah. those who are listening on the pod. Pod, podcaster and yeah, he, thing. he would knew, he would normally have said a bunch of stuff by now. Yeah, but he's not here. And if you're watching on YouTube, well, it's readily apparent because Bob yeah. ain't here. And right. Bob probably wants us to come up with a story because there was that one week where I was gone, and <laughs> and you two. But those came stories up with, are true, man. The, yeah, yeah, the the true stories of where Derek was, you know. Uh, obviously, you know, and I think Bob was like, make up a story for, no, look, I'm not going to insult our audience. I'm not going to insult our listeners, our viewers with some, with some crap about where Bob is. Bob didn't want to be here. That's not true either, but (laughs) it might be more, it might be that we're entertaining the audience more than we're saying that we don't, we're we're trying to fool them. Although everything that we talked about. I entertain with the truth, with real Everything life, that Scott. Everything we said about you is completely 100% true. Wrong. Wrong, wrong. I was never <laughs> a naked cartwheel king in the Ozarks. I was never at Tim McGraw's birthday. And I certainly wasn't, uh, I don't know, protesting abortion clinics with Ted no, Cruz. No, no. Th- <laughs> you just met Ted Cruz. That's all. No. You were in a picture with him. It's on our on our YouTube channel. Yeah. You got in a picture with Ted. You were there, man. Look, I, Same thing. We've got pictures for every one of these things. You I, posed I with that. Tim McGraw. He had his shirt off, I think. I understand this concept of suspicion of suspension of disbelief, and and yes, you're quite talented with the with the with the photoshops. <laughs> you know, I I love it, but I do not know how to use Photoshop. I use uh, Superimpose. Yes. You taught me about that. You're welcome. There you go. Hey, we're talking. So Bob is not here. I know he's he's working, which means yeah. we probably won't see him or hear from him for the rest of the week. But we love Bob. But we the cool thing is we had like a supersized episode with Danny Black. We did. And, um, Just yesterday or Monday. Monday. Whatever. Monday. <laughs> whatever day. Another one of the things that we do to suspend reality, right? Nobody we, we cares record. what day it really is. No, nobody does. As long as you get your hey, we're talking fix. Hey, on. I had another person, somebody I know from Michigan, Josh, who said, uh, he said, hey, I heard you talk about one time when I was talking to you that you do a podcast. I go, yeah. So what's it called? I really like podcasts. He does like a he drives a, I think he drives like a garbage truck, but like one of the ones that just goes around and picks it up with the little forklift things and dumps it. I think that's what he does. And he works some ungodly hours. Like he gets up at like two in the morning and drives this thing until like two in the afternoon, three. Wow. Anyway, he 
said that while he's in the truck, he listens to like podcasts nonstop. And he it's was a good like, idea. Hey. He's like, I'd like to, I'd like to listen to your podcast. And I go, listen, I'm just going to tell you straight up. I don't want to hear anything that you were offended by that I did. You know, um, that's part of the reason I don't tell a lot of people that I know in my real life that I do the podcast because they're going to give me crap about it. And you get on to me for like not promoting it. You know. But you're a celebrity. I'm nobody. I'm not a celebrity. You are. You've got, you have, I mean, that. how many views is your uh, pipe thing up to now? Like 10,000? Uh, oh, no. You haven't even, don't tell me you haven't checked. Well, you mean the video I made for yeah. Danny? Yeah. Oh, it's like 4,000 views. Is, yeah, dude, 4,000 views? So. You're like at the point where maybe you would like make money off of that. Did you monetize it? No, I'm not going to monetize. Oh my gosh. Why? YouTube.com slash Derek Tan will never be monetized because nobody wants to watch commercials. I don't know about for, that. You get, you only have to me. watch five seconds of it. I've I mean, watched for us, of- for us. Yeah. Monetize the crap out of, Hey, we're talking. That's great. Let's get some of that sweet, sweet advertiser money. It's actually your your video today is at four thousand five hundred and eighty nine views. Wow. Which is just unbelievable. Is that the biggest one you've ever done? No. What's your biggest? Uh how to smoke inside, I think. I don't know. It's, how to smoke inside? Or you know, it, it was me showing off my air purifier. So hey, do, wanna... speaking of, do air purifiers work? Yeah. Because I was thinking about getting one because I, I, uh, here's, this is a whole other story, Derek. I I should ask you since you're in the medical field, you can maybe help me with this. All right. I've, I've mentioned before that I may have a slight, uh, uh, tendency when nicotine goes into my body to be a bit sensitive to it Mm -hmm. because I, I, I get a feeling sometimes that I do not like, uh, well, I smoked a cigar last night with my buddy felt perfectly fine and then um probably like an hour and a half later getting ready for bed and all of a sudden i just felt like i had been run over by a freight train my body hurt every inch i'm talking everywhere neck head legs back everything and i was just like am i gonna die and then i finally was just like i gotta lay down go to sleep uh and while I laid in bed throughout the night, I was like, it, it almost felt like maybe I had the flu or something. I was very hot. Uh, it was bizarre, dude. But I felt fine when I woke up. Yeah, Is I that think nicotine? It, it might have been, or you might have been having like a heart attack or something. <laughs> oh, great. It might have just been the nicotine. Like next time, if you get, if you get hit, I mean, you're alive. I mean, you're, you're obviously, you made it. But, I did. It was a but, close one, but I made it. Yeah, you should have. But I think some some people like to have something to eat. It gives them a little bit of... To take some of that thing off of I it. I think it has to do with the blood sugar, they say. Oh, okay. Blood sugar kind of eases the edge off the nicotine. Okay. But the air purifier that I was talking about in my video, it's not like a true purifier. What it is, is a, it's an ozone and ion generator. Okay. And so... I mean, and it does have like a little bit of a, a HEPA filter, like for some dust, but it's not like a true purification filter type thing. What it does is it puts out those those negative ions, which latch on to the the smoke particles, and then which cause them to get heavier and drop to the ground. And then the ozone, which puts out that weird smell, that's what cleanses the air as far as putting out the uh, the odors but okay. you're not supposed to be in the same room you're not supposed to be in the room while you're putting that out because it's supposedly bad for the lungs right yeah so that's actually when i say air purifier what i'm really looking for is something that would make it so that my house doesn't stink like a cigar when i'm done yeah i mean that's what that's what i would use the the air my air purifier for it i would if I'm smoking in the house, I would I just smoke as normal and then turn it on for about 20 to 30 minutes and it will it'll catch all the it'll it'll eat up that smoke and kill the odor. Okay, so that video 
has more than 4,500 views is what you're telling me. Yeah. Dude. Do you remember how many it has? I think it's like 9,000. Good grief, Derek. But I, you know, it, my videos, it's not so much my subscriber base. It's just now that on my channel, a lot of when people are just typing in stuff about, you know, pipe tobacco. It's yeah, just, you do my pop videos up. Are st- you know, my, my videos are the ones that are starting to pop up. So Yeah, you pop up like when I go to Google and I start to type something. I part, it might partly be because I know you and it knows that I know you because mm. Google knows everything. But you usually show up. Oh, and, yeah. and stuff that I'm talking about, if I'm talking about pipes or something like that. Yeah. How, I'm looking back at how long you've been on YouTube also. It looks like three years. Your yeah. first your first video was, I have arrived on YouTube. Yeah, it was a VR to Adam Mills, Mr. Cousin Stuffy himself. To Cousin Stuffy. It, and then the next one after that, do you remember what it was? Don't look. Was do you remember a, what you did, the first a, review you did? Was it a snuff review? It was. I was going to be like, this is going to be my pipe tobacco and snuff channel. And I did one <laughs> snuff review, nasal snuff, by the way. Not not like dip, but yeah. you know, ground up, finely ground dry tobacco in the nose. I do we, that have, we have some... Uh... <sighs> That snuff thing was a big deal for a while. Yeah. In in the in the pipe community, on the YouTube pipe community. Uh there were some pretty interesting videos of people trying it and and stuff like that. There, <laughs> and there was one is it Happy Smoking 100 where he I mean, dude, I just remember him doing <laughs> like mass amounts of snuff. Yeah. And he just had like a layer of snuff residue around his nostrils and on his upper lip. And I was just like, wow, wow. Yeah, that's Jake. Yeah, Jake Jake Jennings, Mr. As He Was Known on YouTube, Happy Smoking 100, uh, with the Hitler mustache snuff residue. <laughs> he did, he did have a he, very, it, it did look like a Hitler mustache, yes. Yeah, he, is, he is out of the tobacco world now. I really? Mean, He's yeah. done? He sold off all his tobacco, and I think he's selling off his pipes. Yeah, he, and he had some amazing pipes, too. Yeah. If I remember correctly, he would be like, I just got this, and a, hey, YouTube, and he would show these pipes, and I was like, man, that's a really expensive pipe, dude. So he's got some good ones. Mm-hmm. So how did you find how did you find out that he got out? I mean, I don't keep up anymore with the pipe community well, that a much. video about it. Really? How long ago was this? Just a few months. He he basically said for health reasons he was going to get out of pipe smoking. And so he... Yeah. It, it was like a minor controversy or something because he tried to... He basically offered up his collection of tobacco for, you know, pennies on the dollar or something like... You know, just to... He offered it up for pretty cheap. And I think... Okay. I think a lot of people contacted. I think Jimmy... Tried to get get in on that deal. I'm not sure if he was the one that did it. We'll have to ask Jimmy. We should. That's what we should have done. We should have just figured out if Jimmy... You know what? Jimmy's so busy, too. He would never be able to be on the show. He's too big time for us now. This, this is fine. This is I fine. Know. No, Bob's I'm just gone, saying... When Bob's gone, well, this is fine. No, but what I'm saying is it would have been fun to know, did Jimmy get all of that guy's tobacco? That would be fun to know. Yeah. We'll Maybe have we to can. find out and get back. So you're so you're just a shade under fifteen hundred subscribers, Derek. Yeah, I think you're so. Fourteen sixty nine. You need to get those last thirty one subscribers. What uh, can we do to get you enough. those? It's not going to be enough. What do you mean? Why do you lose them too at the same time? No, I mean I, I I just want more subscribers. I try to get more. What can we do to get your your channel bigger? You know, I know this this sh- this show definitely has to help. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm uh, I'm I'm happy with where I'm at on uh, on my personal YouTube channel. That's oh whatever. I'm fine. I've I've been and Jimmy's only got 833. That's kind of surprising. He doesn't make videos anymore though, does he? No, and that's well, he does occasionally, just a He's few. Too busy. I'm He's pretty busy. consistently active yep. on. Uh... That's why you're so successful. Is you keep putting out content, although it's been a while. Since you made your Americano, how long has that been? It's been a week. Like a few days. I got, no. I'm got. i going to put up uh, another video on Friday. It's going to be my top five tobaccos of the year so far. 
my mid-year picks. Wow. So That's a big one. That'll be that'll be one that gets uh, a lot of hits just because people like to search those lists. So I'll get they a lot do. of... They do. Yeah. That's... Uh, Kevin used to get big, big uh, views on those too mm-hmm. when people would do those like, my top five tobaccos of the year. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, I don't even know where to begin. What do I say? Uh, sure do love uh, Hobbit's weed. It's pretty good. Doesn't exist anymore. I still have some. I went through and got rid of all my... I, I had all my pipes and stuff packed in the closet because I was going without for a while. And I just took out all my pipe stuff, went through all... I had tons of tobacco jarred in little mason jars. I got rid of almost all... Every single aromatic I had. The only ones I kept were the Hobbit's Wheat. It still smelled good. It didn't look like it had any problems on it. And the other one was the Sleepy Hollow. I kept that. Even though I think that one doesn't smell as good as it should. I'll have to look at it a little closer. But other than that, I had a bunch of uh, tinned tobacco and some you know, English blends and stuff like that. Some Virginia's. And uh, it'll be interesting to see because I, I probably got a lot of those like over a year ago, probably a year and a half. So they've been aging. Did you sell mm. them or are you keeping them? No, I have them all. They're right in front of me on my little bookshelf over here. Are you going to get back into them? It's possible. I did smoke a cigar last night. So I got I ended up getting a humidor um, and getting some cigars I just bought like a couple of, I, there was a couple, uh, there was a cigar that I knew I liked. So I went and tried to find some stuff that would be similar uh, and and tried those out. So I got some like, basically like sample packs from uh, Famous Smoke Shop. Is that what it's called? Famous Smokes? Yeah. Anyway, so I ended up getting a, a humidor and uh, I ended up with like, a little more than 20 cigars in these little sample packs that I did. So they're all sitting in there right now getting moist. They're getting to 70% humidity. Yeah. But I, but I did smoke one last night, and then I almost felt like I was going to die. So maybe I shouldn't smoke those. Well, maybe you should just smoke them after dinner or something. It was after dinner. Well, shortly after dinner. So like right after I put the food in my mouth, get a little stogie out? No, but maybe, maybe instead of three hours after supper, maybe one hour. Okay, that makes sense. I the other thing that I did, and I don't, I, I'm not a big pop drinker, uh, which is hard for people to believe, I'm sure, because I'm such a gi- a giant dude. Uh, but I got a two liter of Mountain Dew with this pizza that we got one day. It was like uh, over the weekend. And I drank a whole bunch of the Mountain Dew, and I don't drink a lot of pop, but I drank like three glasses of Mountain Dew. Mm. So that might be the other thing. So uh. nicotine and Mountain Dew piling through my veins, and uh, yeah, then you, I was like, oh, I'm going to die. Your body wasn't ready for that. It's probably and, what it was. And you weren't drinking pop. You were drinking a soda. <laughs> I was drinking pop. I call it drinking, pop. I'm from Michigan. You were drinking a Coke. What kind a of pop? Coke? I was drinking Mountain Dew, and it's a pop. Mountain Dew. Very popular in the military, by the way. Mountain Dew is? Yeah. You know, I used to think that Mountain Dew was, like, this amazing, it'll get you all jacked up, but it does. It doesn't really do anything. The caffeine in that stuff doesn't affect me at all. And yeah. Well, maybe it did last night because I felt like I was going to die, so maybe the nicotine and the caffeine Something didn't. happened. There was a weird synergistic situation that, Everything came together to make me feel like I might die. So whatever happened, you know, don't do that. Now, now. Change something up, Scott. We always talk about how my family doesn't listen. This will be the one that they listen to. And they're going to hear that I'm smoking (laughs) and drinking Mountain Dew and feeling like I might die. So they'll enjoy that. That'll make them big fans of the show. I don't think. I don't think your family would be like pleased to hear. No, that. there'll be very. That's what I'm making a joke. They'll be upset. In fact, I told them the other day uh, on our Danny Black uh, podcast how you said, "No wonder your dad hates this show." 
And I was telling them that uh, we talk about them on the show from time to time, and we have a good laugh about it. My does dad he, was does like, he want to listen no, anymore? He, he, they laughed because I told it to him in a, in a humorous way. Yeah. I talked about how I imitated my mom with the tattoos and stuff. She was laughing so hard she couldn't breathe. So, But are they going to listen to the show? Are they going to add? No, I told them, don't listen to it because I don't want to hear any crap from you. I was like, <laughs> just don't listen because then you're going to have problems with me and you're going to say stuff to me and you're going to be, I'm disappointed, Scotty. Don't do that. Don't again, say that. Again, again, Scott, you know, you're, you, I get I get a lot of crap from you, you know, about how I'm not promoting the show, but yet you're actively <laughs> discouraging <laughs> listenership and viewership <laughs> in your real life amongst people who could actually be, you know, who might get some real fulfillment out of it. We need to talk about this on the next show because we're we're like 20 minutes in i would like to continue this conversation a little bit okay because we can go we can dive deeper so on friday let's talk a little bit about why i don't tell anybody that i know about the show are you embarrassed for me are you embarrassed no. of me no. are you ashamed to call no. me I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the inside scoop i'm gonna let you i'm gonna go deep we're gonna open up the cavern of of the vault of scott's disappointments and tell you all of it on friday okay well i don't know if i can wait till friday but i guess i'll i'll wait i'll wear the same shirt too by the way it's it only be a few minutes okay it'll be like 30 seconds and you'll get to hear the story okay all right and we'll talk to you guys on friday <laughs>